National Grid Corporation of the Philippines says 87% of power transmission lines have been restored in areas affected by Typhoon Odette. But it says distribution facilities may still need to be fixed before electricity can return to households. NGCP spokesperson Cynthia Albanza says Negros Oriental, Southern Leyte, and Bohol still don't have transmission services. The NGCP records at least 95 facilities or power lines that fell, including 12 towers and 820 transmission poles. Albanza says this does not yet include the posts of electric cooperatives that had fallen. Albanza adds, restored transmission services do not necessarily mean households can expect a steady supply of electricity. On Sunday, December 26, the country's Disaster Risk Management Agency reported the government restored power in 150 out of 269 cities and municipalities that experienced blackouts due to the typhoon. It says full power restoration may be expected in February 2022. The NGCP says it is targeting to restore transmission services in Bohol, Negros Oriental, and Southern Leyte by December 31. Presidential aspirant Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. counters another case filed against him before the Commission on Elections. In a reply submitted to the COMELEC Monday, December 27, he claims the petition by martial law victims is based entirely on irrelevant, baseless, and misleading statements. The disqualification case, filed on November 18 by Bonifacio Ilagan and other survivors of the Marcos dictatorship, has been rattled off to the Comelec First Division. The martial law survivors allege that Marcos violated the National Internal Revenue Code, which perpetually disqualifies him from public office. Marcos's camp says the penalty of perpetual disqualification has never been imposed against a former senator. It adds, Marcus has neither been convicted by final judgment of a crime involving moral turpitude nor sentenced by final judgment to suffer imprisonment for more than 18 months. In 1995, the Quezon City Regional Trial Court found Marcos guilty of tax evasion and failing to file his income tax returns in the 1980s. The appellate court in 1997 acquitted him of tax evasion but sustained his conviction for failure to file income tax returns. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. A new social weather station survey finds around 9 in 10 Filipinos are entering the year 2022 with hope rather than fear. The survey conducted from December 12 to 16 finds 93% of adult Filipinos have more hope than fear entering the new year, a small increase from 2020's 91%. The SWS says the 2% increase from 2020 to 2021 is not statistically significant. Both figures are still lower than 2019's 96%, the last new year before the COVID-19 pandemic began. Meanwhile, 7% of Filipinos will enter 2022 with fear. In the tail end of 2021, COVID-19 cases began to drop to early pandemic levels and as such, the economy started to open up. Britney Spears says she's not yet ready to return to making music after 13 years under a conservatorship that took away her control over her life. Last month, she was freed from the court-imposed arrangement in 2008 sought by her father. In an Instagram post Monday, December 27, Britney says she wanted to push herself more and do things that scare her, but not too much in 2022. The singer says people have no idea of the awful things they did to her personally and what she has been through. Britney also adds, doing music is like letting her family subconsciously win, claiming they are the ones that only actually benefit from it. It's the dream female K-pop idol lineup who didn't know we needed. SM Entertainment announces the formation of a new super K-pop girl group called GOT, which is short for Girls on Top. The South Korean entertainment agency debuts the list of GOT's members on Tuesday, December 27. It includes seven of K-pop's top female idols from various hit girl groups BOA, Taeyeon and Yoyeon from Girls' Generation, the Red Velvet Sol Gi and Wendy, and Karine and Winter from Aespa.
GOT will have a special performance on Saturday, January 1, 2022, which will possibly be during SM Town's upcoming free online concert, according to Soong P. The girls are set to debut their single Step Back on Monday, January 3. 